How's it going guys? I am in Narita, Japan, and we are just wrapping up our first mandatory quarantine. We are moving from Idaho, USA to Fukuoka, Japan, but we had to stay in this mandatory government quarantine. All the meals were provided. We had to take multiple COVID tests and fill out lots of paperwork. We just wanted to show you that journey. In this video, we're gonna give you a tour of the hotel room that we were locked up in for the past couple days. Honestly, every hotel is gonna be different, but we're gonna show you our hotel room that we were able to get. I think it ended up being one of the nicer ones. Um, we had plenty of space to walk around, do some exercises, and I'm gonna give you a full tour now. Here's the key card, which we never needed. We are not allowed to leave stateroom. In Japanese, it says, Jibun no hea kara denai de kudasai, which is a lot, little bit more polite than just stay room. I don't know if that's like correct English either. Kind of like a dog command. If the room was a dog, you give us some salty plums and lemons to think about. You can stare at that picture and think about those if you have trouble spitting into the COVID test. And then I'm gonna show you the view here we had in a minute. First of all, I wanna go into the bathroom. There's just a few little things that are different than Western toilets. And I'm six foot five and I have experienced sometimes where I had to duck to get onto the bus and whatnot, but no problem getting into the bathroom right here. Plenty of space. The sink and the bath are connected, which is nice. If you wanna take a bath, you just move this over here. Turn that on here and then it's got a nice rain shower. And then they have the normal shower that also works as a wand. And you got your shampoo, conditioner, and then you have the toilet. One thing that I haven't seen on Japanese toilets before was the kids mode and then also omakase. I think it literally means like, I'll leave it up to you. So. When you go to a restaurant, you say, I'll leave it up to you. They're really good at cooking burgers, then they're gonna give you a burger. This, I've never seen it before on a toilet. So I guess the toilet, whatever the toilet's feeling, that's what they're gonna give you. That is something that I noticed on this one. They have toothbrushes. They had four toothbrushes. My wife, when we were traveling in America, she would always forget her toothbrush because she was just used to Japanese hotels always having toothbrushes for you. I can get used to very quickly not having to put a wet toothbrush in my bag. Moving on from the bathroom into the beds. Um, it feels like they're kind of a weird size. They might be queen. I feel like they're in between a queen size and a twin. They are not soft at all, which is something that I enjoy. Since my last time going to Japan, I slept on a futon. As you can see, there's like no padding to it. I mean, there's a little bit of a mattress pad right here. While it is a little bit smaller than a American queen, it easily slept two people, especially because the bed is firm and it doesn't sag at all. So you don't end up in that thing where you like folded together in a taco and squished up against the person. This couch is also a hide -a bed Then over here we have just a normal shoe rack. And then we had our mini fridge, which was stocked up with the bentos that we had for a while. This and then you also have a little safe. Obviously we never used it being in quarantine. We're here the entire time, but I don't even think anyone would ever need to use it in Japan because it's such a safe country. In this section, we have the phone, the hair dryer, the vanity mirror, this water boiler. They gave us a miso soup with every meal. Okay, a lot of my friends are asking me about the food situation. They're providing all the meals here for us at the hotel. They didn't take my deposit. They don't even have my credit card number. They're just letting us stay here. It's actually a super nice hotel. We just got our lunch delivered and I'm gonna show you what we got. And a miso soup, salad, green tea, some orange juice. Last but not least is the bento box. We've gone through about six water bottles, but they keep giving us more. Bottled water from Mount Fuji is what they say. So for lunch today, we got some tamagoyaki, some, I don't even know, what are these called, Manami? Tsukune. Tsukune, yeah. is it fish? No, that's a ground chicken. Fish sausage some pickled vegetables, some egg and ground chicken over rice. And then for dessert, we got some sweet, stretchy mochi. Shiitake mushroom. Good? Mm -hmm. And I know what a lot of you guys are saying. Oh, that looks like a lot of just rice. This isn't just rice, this is Japanese rice. There's a nice air conditioner. Just instantly gets the room to any temperature you'd like. So the favorite thing about this room is the view. It's, there's a little police car going by. It's been cool to watch the planes come in and out. You can see them drive in, drive out. When you have to be in quarantine, it's nice to be able to have something to watch. 
blackout curtains, which are nice to not get any of that light pollution in the middle of the night. They just made an announcement that it's time to take a COVID test. So here it is on the door. This is my third test um, in the last couple of days. We took, we had to take one before we flew. That one was $120 a person, I believe. And then these ones are paid by Japan. We had to take one at the airport when we arrived. And now this is three days after quarantine. So it looks like there's just a little vial, a funnel, and some instructions. It says, do not touch the inside of spits. It spells it just like the sunflower seeds. I have to spit up to this black line, just stick the funnel in here, and then spit. We shipped off three of our suitcases. Kept this suitcase and this carry-on because we had things that we needed in them, but we moved things around and we put all our essentials into our backpacks so that we can ship these rather than having to deal with them with the move to the next hotel and then when we have to check into the airport. A lot of people will tell you Japan makes it very difficult for vehicle owners, but it makes it easy so you don't necessarily have to have a car. In America, it's common to have families that have two, three, maybe even more cars. Everybody has to have their own car to be able to accomplish the different things throughout their day. But little things like this, where we're able to ship all of our gear at low cost, makes it very easy to travel using public transportation with just a backpack. But there you have it. That's a little glimpse of what it's been like. So we are about to leave this hotel, um, which is going to wrap up this video, but um, we're gonna be hopping on a bus to downtown Tokyo, where we have another hotel where we will wait two more days before we are able to ride on public transportation back to my wife's hometown. We did book an extra day so we could see some of the sights around Tokyo. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on any of that. We'll see you guys later. Bye.